Hey everyone, and welcome to my live show. Just kidding, I don't actually have an introduction because I don't have a f***ing live show to begin with. But, unless you've lived under a rock your entire life, or you just don't use the internet, you've obviously heard about this Kevin Ware guy from a Louisville college basketball team who gruesomely broke his leg. Now I'm here to tell you one thing, and then that injury was fake. So fake. Let's take a look at the picture. first. Alright, so now that you got a little concept of what actually happened, I'll explain to you why it's fake. Well, if you notice the bone sticking out of the skin, that's not actually a bone. It's not photoshopped or anything. It can just be recreated very easily, and I'm going to show you how. It only takes a few objects. You're going to need anything white, like a stick or a broom. This is a broom handle, actually, with little... Um, puppy paws on it, that's fine. No one's gonna notice because they're gonna be like, holy shit, you just broke your leg, man. They're not gonna notice the paws. They're just gonna... You're also gonna want things to keep it in place. I'm gonna use tape and this power shot stapler um, read instruction manual, <laughs> whatever. This is a leg injury. We don't need instruction manuals, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this situated in Inside your pants. Yes, I know he was wearing basketball shorts, but if you look really closely at the image, we can tell that he has brown leggings that is what's causing it to rip out, you know? So we're gonna... Alright, so now that we got our props secured in place there, we can really tell that that's definitely a bone sticking out of her body. Now, first thing we're gonna get is our tape, and we're gonna secure it in there because nothing's more embarrassing than when you're prop falls out of your leg and you know people are like hey he didn't actually break his leg so just feel free to really just get that in around everywhere you know there we go now we're just gonna get our stapler done and add a few shots there just so it stays in place one there Oh yeah, you feel the stinging, but that's good. That means it's working. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna add some fake blood. And by this, I'm using a Laurentian Roan Red, number 21 um, crayon. And just really color in there. Don't be afraid to get a little messy. You probably can't see it very well on camera, but this is a bloodbath. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. There we go. This is great. This is great. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dominic, and I just showed you how to fake a very good injury. Now let's give it props to our friend over there in Louisville who did a great job.